buddy. Look, tsunami. Tsunami? Let's get out of here. Wait, come back. Look, I was just saying hi to Sue and Mommy. See? Wave. <gasps> Wave? Oh, no! Maybe we should learn about tsunamis. Good idea. A tsunami is a tremendous amount of ocean waves that grow in size as they approach the shore. They are caused by pressure in the atmosphere and underwater earthquakes, a volcanic explosion, or even a landslide. Even a meteor that hits the ocean can cause a tsunami. And even though underwater landslides and meteorites collisions can be strong enough to generate this pressure, most tsunamis are created by earthquakes. Did you know that earthquakes and volcanoes can occur underwater, not only on land? When earthquakes do happen under the water, they cause the Earth's tectonic plates to push against each other and release a lot of pressure. Tectonic plates are slabs of rock in the Earth's crust. Ow, I said slabs, not slab. This pressure can produce ripples of water that build up and turn into enormous waves, and that is what a tsunami is. When there's an earthquake, a big area of the Earth's crust moves suddenly. And when this happens underwater, huge holes can develop on the ocean floor. Then water races in to fill the gap in, and a tsunami can begin to form. Think about if you're sitting in your bathtub and you move forward in the tub. This makes a pretty big wave in your tub, right? Well, the same thing happens to the ocean when a lot of water is suddenly moved. Many times there are numerous waves that make the tsunami. This is called a wave train. And a wave train can create a lot of destruction once these waves finally hit the shore. People! Also, animals can be badly injured because the water speeding onto land is remarkably strong and destructive. I guess puppets like me too. That's why I'm getting out of here. Cars and even buildings can be knocked down and carried away by this water. And tsunamis can also make shipwrecks damage crops, create unsafe drinking water, plus fires from broken gas lines. They can cause significant damage too by flooding cities and destroying homes. So what exactly happens during a tsunami? Well, Quinn, once the water is disturbed by an earthquake or another event, like we mentioned earlier, big waves ripple and spread out from the spot where the water was first moved. These waves can move fast and for a very long distance. That's right again, Quinn. Some tsunamis have traveled thousands of miles across the ocean at speeds of up to 500 or more miles per hour. And as these waves move through deep sections of the ocean, the wave's crest is normally tiny, maybe only a few feet tall. This is what makes it tough to recognize a tsunami because they're not easily seen in the deepest parts of the ocean. When the waves get closer to land and shallower water, they stack up and build in height. And sometimes by the coastline, a trough of the wave may appear. This will cause water to recede at the shoreline. And this can be dangerous as many people might be tempted to walk out into the open area where there isn't water anymore. So how big is the tsunami? Well, tsunamis differ in size from just a few inches to over a hundred feet or more. 
and in water greater than 600 feet, tsunamis are rarely over a few feet. But as tsunamis develop in shallow waters, their height can rise by over 10 times. Tsunami heights range a lot along different coasts. They can be increased by shoreline as well as the sea floor. A massive tsunami can flood low-lying land for over a mile from the actual coast. See, when the wave hits the shore, it will be a tall wall of water. The water will race inland, sometimes quite far, with high speeds of power. Wow! Some tsunamis have been known to reach heights of 100 feet. And even more waves may continue. The time period between these waves can be several minutes each. Where do tsunamis occur? <laughs> I knew one of you was going to ask that question sooner or later. Most of the time they happen in the Pacific Ocean because there are lots of underwater earthquakes and volcanoes. This area is called the Ring of Fire. Take it, Gus! I fell in a burning ring of fire. I went down, down, down in the... Oh boy, Gus. Coastal countries surrounding the Pacific Ocean Basin are known as the Ring of Fire. And about four out of five tsunamis happen within the Ring of Fire, where earthquakes and volcanic eruptions frequently happen. Countries with long coastlines like Japan, Chile, and the United States are all at risk of being hit by a tsunami. However, tsunamis can happen anywhere in any major body of water. The Asian tsunami in 2004 that happened in the Indian Ocean is considered the deadliest tsunami ever. It was caused by an earthquake with magnitude of 9.3. That's the same amount of energy as 23,000 atomic bombs. Massive destructive waves hit the coastline of 11 countries from Thailand to Africa. 283,000 people died, wiping out entire cities. So, how often do tsunamis happen? Usually, two tsunamis happen each year throughout the entire world. Check your calendars, because about every 15 years, a destructive ocean-wide tsunami will happen. Why are tsunamis so dangerous? Well, even though tsunamis slow down as they near the shoreline, they can still be moving at over 50 miles per hour. A huge wave moving at that speed can cause major damage and large tsunamis can move several miles inland and wipe out entire cities. Are there any warnings for tsunamis? That is a great question, Cadence. Actually, many coastal areas do have tsunami warning systems in place. Once an earthquake has happened, the arrival time of a potential tsunami can be determined accurately. People are then advised to leave the area or look for higher ground. However, normally there's not enough time to predict tsunami heights near where it started. But further away, tsunami wave heights can be predicted based on mathematical tsunami models as well as recognized wave heights in the ocean. How fast can a tsunami move in the ocean? A regular wave travels at about 55 miles per hour in the ocean. But a tsunami? They can speed across the ocean at an incredible 600 miles per hour. Whoa! And sometimes before a tsunami happens, there is a huge vacuum effect which means the water from harbors and beaches are sucked out to sea. People
people can see the ocean floor flopping with fish and other sea animals. But then the wave bursts onto shore a few moments later. Then more waves for up to two hours or more are possible. The speed depends on how deep the water actually is. In 15,000 feet of water, tsunamis travel at about 475 to 500 miles per hour. That's as much as the speed of a jumbo jet for the most part. Whoa! In only 100 feet of water, the speed drops into about 40 miles per hour. Here are some other final fascinating facts about tsunamis. Sometimes tsunamis are called tidal waves, but they actually have nothing to do with the ocean's tide. Tidal waves are created by forces from the moon, the sun, and planets that change the ocean's tides, as well as the wind that moves over the water. You see, typical waves flow in circles but tsunamis flow straight ahead at tremendous speed and forces. And this is why tsunamis can cause so much damage. Hey, did you like this video? Hey, did you learn something new? Then don't forget to sub and smash that like button. And, and we'll see you on the next Hey, Guess What? Boom.